How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today we have a new episode of the best pro player spots in Vanguard. Admittedly the series is slowing down slightly as I always say just simply because the lack of new spots coming out in the game since it's been out for a while now but we're still managing to get a few episodes out here and there. But today we've got some lines of sight, some sniper spots, kind of little jump spots as well, grenade spot and then also something different where showing you some spots just to watch the cross on SND on Berlin but we'll show you that when we get to it. But also shout out to Carnage once again for giving me some spots to show on the series so if you want to help out the series at all, help out the channel then please let me know any spots you want to see featured on the channel basically. But nonetheless guys we'll get straight into it now and I hope you enjoy the video. So here we are on Desert Siege, now we've got a few nice little sniper spots on this. First one is off my good friend Carnage, so shout out to him for sharing once again. Basically, don't fail the jump, but you want to come onto this barrel, hop onto the door there, and you can't actually jump on these, but you can see very nicely over to that back truck there. As we all know, a lot of snipers will like to go there, or even underneath it, so it's a very perfect spot for that. And it should be a little bit harder to notice than your generic spots. So right here we have a little spot from Clayster which Carnage also showed me on Twitter. Basically you can look at over the B bomb site and over all this part of the map. But what you want to do is hop onto this little barrel, sprint jump up the tin sheeting, hop onto this little corner here and then just sort of sprint jump onto this little lamp. But basically you want to keep pushing forward as you land because otherwise you will just slide off. And obviously from here you can use it to look straight into that B bomb site. Maybe you know you can just watch down the bomb or if you can make your way here to watch over the bomb when it's been planted, even better. And then also you can see up top there into the mid building. So basically part two of the spot, you're going to want to strafe jump slightly onto this tin sheet and roof just there. And you can actually walk across this, but when I was recording it, I figured you had to jump. But from here, you can see a lot of the map. Obviously, you don't have a lot of cover up here, but you can go all the way across this ledge. You might just be able to catch someone off guard with a nice little sniper spot off the start. And, you know, it just gives you a good line of sight if you can make it up here without getting shot, pretty much. Got one more sniper spot for Des Siege. Basically, one that we saw Pred using over by this A bomb site. If you come on this broken train, you can actually look through the top of this destructible cover. Depending on how you angle yourself, you know, you can see that back part of the map there. If you come a little bit closer, obviously, you can lie down and position yourself. You're basically going to have a lot more cover if you're sort of crouching down like that rather than just coming out onto the top and looking out like so. Now, an interesting little spot I saw Shotzi using on Ranked was if you come into this little room here by A on Berlin, then you can actually plant the bomb through the wall and the bomb will actually just sit there. This also works for this door, which is the exact spot I saw him use. If you peek the door, say you've got people watching the cross over there, you can technically push like this and then plant the other side of this door. This just allows you to have cover and a pretty sneaky spot because if the enemies don't see the bomb anywhere, obviously they will find it eventually, but you know, you could maybe sit in the corner lying down to play the bomb like so, or you could even sit outside the window watching inside. So it's just a sneaky little bomb plant slash diffuse spot. So another little spot, pretty simple one that I saw Vortex for the Ultra EU Academy in the Pro-Am tournament playing. So they are starting from the top spawn there. He actually played this low little step here. Now it's quite a cool spot because they're not always going to be checking this because you think you know a lot of people are going to run straight up the door there or they're going to just literally no not notice you or they're going to be pre-aiming the corner up there. And as you see, if you're lying here, you're going to be able to take them out. Or you could even use a heady, take anybody out coming down there. Or if you hear the door go, you can use it to give intel to your teammates to let them know where they are pretty much. So something a little bit different here for S and D, you want to have some spots where you can go to watch where the enemies are going to cross and figure out which bomb site they're going to be hitting or defending. So from the plant inside, basically you want to run straight to these barrels off the spawn. And if you have a sniper, this helps, but you want to watch across to the top steps. I know this is quite an obvious one, but if you can get here fast enough, you'll be able to see the enemies crossing over into A and you can figure out that they're in there. And then also if you check around this side, come to that spot I showed you last video, you can watch that low dock area and nobody's going to be able to get into B without you seeing them cross. And then obviously if you do see them, you're going to want to call out your teammates and let them know and give them the intel. 
So from the defense side, pretty much you're going to want to just come up to here, the opposite pretty much side, and you're going to be able to see them all running in. You're not going to have to run too far for this one, but you could give it a second. You know, maybe you're the main AR or the sniper player of the team, and you just hang back and watch them, see if you can pick them off. But if you notice that they haven't quite gone into there, then you can call that out to your teammates and pretty much assume that they've gone to A. Now for A, it's kind of hard for you to you know call it out because obviously this spot doesn't really work in reverse because you know you can't really tell because they've got a lot of cover to cross around each bomb site but if somebody's watching over b then you can get positioned in a using some of the spots i've showed you in other videos but yeah basically you want to just call out to the teammates where you see the enemies so a little nade spot here on tuscan that i believe i saw methods using but there's quite a few different angles you can use but and also a lot of pros will use them but it's basically to hit their side you when you're playing on tuscan so you want to come anywhere around this little spot here obviously aim in line with the b or if it's on s and d also helps with p1 on um hard point and also control basically you want to just aim roughly in line with this here and then basically just toss the grenade over the top. As you can see, it's going to land very nicely. Use this as a bomb check. You can slightly adjust it so it bounces and it will actually land on this side here, take anybody out. But if you get hit marker, then you're going to know somebody's on the bomb if you're playing an S and D. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really, really helps that channel. We're literally about 10 subs off 1,500 subscribers now, which is just insane to me. This is the fastest growth I've seen since I started making videos. So I just want to say thank you all very much and welcome to any new subscribers. Now, if you have any suggestions for content or any videos you'd like to see me cover or tips or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter as well. And just, yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good rest of your day and week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.